एवरीवन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस दिस प्रैक्टिकल एट फर्स्ट रीड द एम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल द एम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल इज टू फाइंड द फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए कन्वेक्स लेंस बाय प्लॉटिंग ग्राफ्स बिटवीन यू एंड वी एंड बिटवीन वन बाय यू एंड वन बाय वी ओके एट फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज यू एंड व्हाट इज बी वी यू इज द ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस एंड वी इज द इमेज डिस्टेंस एंड दिस इज द कॉन्वेक्स लेंस आई विल शो द लेंस नाउ आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस बाय डायग्राम This is the convex lens. This is a converging lens. If we place the object in between the optical center and the focal length, then we can see a virtual image formed, which is enlarged and which is at the side of the object. If we place the object between f and two f, then f is the focal length. If we place the object between f and two f, then we will get a real image, inverted real image beyond two f. If we place the object beyond two f. Then we will get an inverted image between f and two f, real image. Uh, in this practical, we will do these two cases. We can place the object between f and two f, and we can also place the object beyond two f. Uh, in the first case, we will get the uh, image beyond two f, and in the second case, we will get the image between f and two f. So this is the object, and this is the image. The distance between the object and the lens is the object distance which is denoted by u and the distance between image and the lens is v this is the image distance in this case this is the object this is the image so here this is the object distance and this is the image distance v we know the lens formula is 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f This is the lens formula we know. In these two cases, we have to see the sign convention. We know if we move in the direction of the incident light, then the sign according to the sign convention, this is positive. If we move opposite to the incident light, then according to the sign convention, it is negative. So now uh, we can see uh, we have to measure the object distance and image distance both from the lens. This is the lens. We have to measure the object distance and image distance both from the lens. So when we are measuring the object distance, we are we are moving in this direction, which is opposite to the incident light. So the uh, object distance u will be negative. So here we will write u as minus u. But when we are measuring the uh, image distance, then we are going in this direction from lens to image. That means v is positive because uh, we are going in this direction, which is the direction of the incident light. So v is positive and u is negative in this case. So v will be positive. Uh, in this case, it is also true. U is negative and V is positive. Uh, you have to understand when we are measuring the object distance and image distance, we are going from lens. We have to measure these two distances from lens. Okay. So now the lens formula will become one by V, which is plus minus of U will be minus U is equals to one by F. So the formula will become one by V plus one by U equals to one by F. So from here we can write that. U V is equals to U plus V is equals to one by F. So from here the formula we get F is equals to U V divided by U plus V. For this practical, this is the main working formula. Okay, I hope you we actually want to see this kind of thing. We actually want to see this thing through the lens. Okay, as the uh, image is inverted, so this is the image we are seeing this inverted. Okay, so we want to see this kind of thing. Before adjustment, we will see this that height of the two pins are not matching. We can see this, or we can see this kind of scenario where the two pins are on the same line, but their height is not same. We can see this. We have to adjust so that we can get this kind of scenario, and after that, we have to set or we have to adjust the image distance like this so that these two pin will move. As a whole, in this direction or not in this direction, they will not separate. These two pins will move together. Will not move separately. We have to adjust this also. Optical bench. You can see this. This is our optical bench. Now, this is the lens holder. This is the lens holder. This is a convex lens. Okay. We are placing this. on the optical bench okay now this is the pin holder i 
and this is another thing only. For this practical, we need one lens and two pin. Okay, so one lens is there and two pins are there. At first, we are placing this lens arbitrarily at a position. Okay, now we are placing the ob this is our object pin and this is our image pin. This is our light source. This light source is passing through the convex lens. And this is a white peach. I am just trying to focus the light source. You can see the light is focusing. And again it is not focused. Okay. In this way we have to adjust where the light is focused the best. Okay. Here the point where the light is almost focused. Now we have to see the marking. Here you can see it is written 55. And you can also uh, see that the point where the lens is present, the marking is 75. So from here we can say that the rough focal length, length is, focal is length 20. The convex lens is nearly 20 cm. So we have to place our object pin beyond 20 cm, right? We can place this object pin between f and 2f or beyond 2f. But we can't place the object between the lens and the focal length. So we will place this object pin beyond 20 cm. We have to see the position of the lens. We can see the position of the lens is... We can see this pointer and the position of the lens is 25 cm. So we have to place this object, this object pin beyond 20 cm from this. Okay, so this is 75. We have placed this object image here and you can see the position of the object image. Here you can see the position of the object pin. This is 40 centimeter. Okay. This is 40 centimeter. This is 40. So now the distance between the object pin and the lens is 35 centimeter, which is more than F. So now we can start our practical. This is our lens. This is our object pin. And this will be our image pin. Now from the image side, we are placing our eye. And we can see this kind of scenario. Where we can see inverted enlarged image. But there is a gap between the two pins. Okay. These two uh, tip are not matching. For this we have to adjust this height of this pin. We have to adjust the height of this pin. See an inverted image which is enlarged also. But the two tips are not matching exactly. So we have to increase the length. We have to lift it up to match the two pins like this. So, I am just adjusting the length of the pin. Still there is a gap. Now the tape has almost matched but there is a gap between these two pins. Like this we can see the gap. We have to decrease the gap and we have to see this kind of image. Right? So, now we have to adjust by using this. By this screw, we can adjust the distance between the two pins. Now a slight distance between the two pins are there. They are like this. So, I have to increase the length slightly. Now you can see the two tips are exactly matching with each other. So, by using this screw and this screw, we have done this. Now, we have to do the next adjust. See, two pins are exactly coinciding. But when we move our eyes like this, we can see these two are not moving simultaneously. When we are moving our eyes, these are separated. Right? Just by placing my eyes, I can see the uh, tip of the two pins are coincided. But when I am moving my head right and left, I can see two pins are moving separately. They are not moving simultaneously. That means we have to adjust this. We have to adjust the 
we have to adjust the position of this image pin to minimize this separation okay here you can see this two pins are moving separately when i am moving my hand left to right okay now i have changed the position of this near pin so now you can see these two pins are moving separately but separation is very less here okay we have to adjust the position of this image pin this close image pin slightly here you can see two pins are moving separately but now i'm changing the distance of this image pin you can see the separation is increasing here the separation is decreasing they are moving almost the same speed see now these two are moving like a single pin right now these two are moving like a single pin they are not separated now we have to reach this condition this is called parallax condition okay is it clear now we have to take reading now we will note down the position of the lens the position of the object pin and the position of the image pin at first we will do it for the lens you can see here clearly this is 75 okay so here we will write the lens position is 75 Centimeter. Now we will go for the object pin. This is forty centimeter. Okay. So object position. This is forty. You need a centimeter. We will go for the image pin. For image pin. To see this. This is one twenty. This is one twenty one. One twenty two. One twenty three. One twenty four. One twenty four point two. We can see this, or one twenty four point three exactly. So this will be one twenty four point three. Similarly, now, now we have changed the position of the object pin, and following the same procedure, we got the position of the image pin. Similarly, we have taken the other reading also. From this, we got the U V. U is the object distance. We have to subtract. the lens position we have to subtract the object position from the lens position the distance between object and the lens is known as u and the dis, uh, difference between image and the lens position is known as v so we got this u and v and following this formula we got the value of the focal length you can see the value of the focal length are very close now we have plotted the graph this is the x axis and this is the y axis as u is negative we have taken the negative x axis and v is positive so we have taken the positive y axis and we have plotted the point and then we got a rectangular hyperbola okay from here you can see that between 30 to 40 50 small divisions are there so by this process we got the smallest division along x axis 30 to 40 these are actually 10 but here we can see 50 divisions so 50 divisions is equals to 10 division that means One division equals to one smallest division along x-axis is equals to zero point two. Okay, by this procedure we have drawn this and we got this rectangular hyperbola. Then we have drawn a line, this dotted line, using uh, this one, using this protector we drawn this forty five degree line, uh, which make angle forty five degree with the negative x-axis. Then we have drawn. these two perpendicular line on x axis and y axis okay so this is ob this is oc so um, the calculation is 
the focal length we got from the graph is equals to OB divided by 2 or OC divided by 2. Anyone. So from here we can see this is 40 and as 2 uh, 10 division equals to uh, from 32 10 division is 32. So this is 40 and this will be 42. So this point will be 41. Right. So the length of OB from origin actual origin this is 30 30 origin. this is the point 30 30 this is not the actual origin from 0 the distance of this point is 41 okay so we can write OB is 41 divided by 2 which is very close to 20 right and for OC also this is 40 so this will be uh, very less uh, very less than 41 very close to 41 so we can write this close to 41 divided by 2 which is close to 20 so this is the procedure by which we can get the focal length by using the graph from calculation we have already got the focal length so at first we have got the focal length by raft method and then by uv method we calculated the focal length and from graph we have also verified the focal length I hope you understand this. If you have any doubt, then ask me in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.